the colossal implosion occurs in a fraction of that time, allowing minimal space for any conscious reaction. The recent incident has cast a significant spotlight on oceanography and the inquiry into what transpires within the human body during an implosion. According to the Oxford Dictionary, an implosion can be delineated as the act of collapsing inward toward the center. But what precisely transpired to the crew's bodies of the ocean gate? Subscribe now to Labata, and let's uncover the truth. The report about the implosion of the Titanic-bound submarine Titan, caused by the immense oceanic pressure at a depth of 3.8 kilometers, is undeniably chilling. Have you ever pondered what occurs to the human body during a submarine implosion? Envision the hull retracting at a staggering speed of approximately 1,500 miles per hour or 2,200 feet per second. To provide context, a contemporary nuclear submarine possesses a hull radius of about 20 feet. Consequently, the time frame for a complete collapse is an astonishing 1 millisecond. Indeed, you heard that accurately, everything transpires in an instant. Objects smaller than that would be crushed even more swiftly. Human Reaction Time versus Implosion Velocity The human brain is a remarkable organ with the ability to process stimuli and produce instinctual responses. Nevertheless, when juxtaposed with the lightning-fast implosion of a submarine, our rational reactions fall short. While our brains instinctively respond to stimuli within a relatively swift span of 25 milliseconds, the entire progression from sensing to reasoning to taking action demands approximately 150 milliseconds at its best. The monumental implosion occurs within a fraction of that time, leaving scarce space for any conscious response. The recent incident has cast a significant spotlight on oceanography, as well as the profound inquiry into what transpires within the human body during an implosion. According to the Oxford Dictionary, an implosion can be precisely defined as the act of collapsing towards the center. Unlike an explosion, where materials scatter outward, implosion compels objects to fold inward. A classic example is a crushed can, which is compelled inward due to compression initiated by an external force. Consider the action of crushing a can by pushing it in with your fist. In the presented video clip, the immense oceanic pressure obliterates the colossal can and compels it to collapse inwardly. Now that we have comprehended the nature of implosion, let's delve into the enigma of ocean pressure, a potent force that bars human exploration of the ocean's abyssal realms. Ocean pressure denotes the potent exertion of force due to the sheer weight of water within the ocean. As one ventures deeper into the ocean, the weight of the water column above intensifies, leading to an escalation in pressure. This force can reach significant magnitudes in the profound expanses of the ocean. In its simplest interpretation, ocean pressure manifests as a constricting influence, compelling water to compress objects submerged beneath it owing to the sheer mass of the water above. As objects venture deeper, oceanic pressure propels them inward, directing every entity towards the center from all directions. Equipped with specialized gear and breathable gases, humans can descend to depths of up to 500 meters, although this has yet to be achieved for safety considerations and has merely been simulated. In the absence of advanced technology, individuals can only venture as far as 60 meters. This seems negligible, given the fact that the average ocean depth is 3,688 meters. This underscores the perilous nature of the deep sea environments. Oceanic pressure can be quantified through the formula pressure equals depth multiplied by gravity and the water's density. The commonly used metric for measuring oceanic pressure is the decibar. This unit corresponds to one-tenth of a bar, which approximates the atmospheric pressure at sea level. It finds frequent application in oceanography and marine sciences to gauge water pressure at various ocean depths. The Mariana Trench, reaching a depth of about 11,000 meters, bears pressure equivalent to 1,086 bars or 15,750 psi. To grasp the enormity of this pressure, envision the sensation of enduring the weight of a hundred elephants upon your head. That's the magnitude of pressure experienced at such oceanic depths. We have now comprehended the force responsible for the submarine's implosion. Let's now delve deeper into the incident with a magnifying glass. The internal explosion. As the hull of the submarine collapses, the air confined within acts akin to an engine piston. The abrupt compression of air triggers auto-ignition, culminating in a catastrophic explosion. This initial point of failure spreads rapidly, allowing the surrounding water to surge in at remarkable velocities. Under the weight of hundreds of metric tons per square meter, the water compresses the trapped air within the submarine, causing temperatures to soar. Within the vessel, various substances like hydraulic oil, diesel oil from auxiliary engines, kitchen oils, 
grease, rubber, and plastics release hydrocarbon vapors into the atmosphere, resulting in instantaneous explosions. What unfolds for humans inside the submarine is both deeply alarming and strangely reassuring. At a depth of 3.8 kilometers, the oceanic pressure reaches a staggering 6,000 pounds per square inch. To comprehend the magnitude, let's do some calculations and compare it to the average human body. The passengers in this scenario would be exposed to an estimated pressure of about 18 million pounds per square inch. When numbers reach such heights, their meaning can become elusive. Visualize it as akin to a tube of toothpaste being crushed by a hydraulic press. In the event of a sudden implosion of the submersible, the consequences for the individuals within would be catastrophic. The sudden compression of their surroundings would lead to an immediate and severe crushing of their bodies. This process would transpire within a fraction of a second due to the drastic and swift alteration in pressure. This compression would impact various gas-filled parts of the body, including the lungs and gastrointestinal tract, inducing them to collapse or implode. Moreover, the force of the water pressure would drive water into body cavities like the nose, mouth, and ears. These rapid shifts in pressure could potentially result in substantial internal injuries, involving bleeding and damage to organs. Interestingly, one potential silver lining, if it can be called that, lies in the speed of the implosion. Due to its swiftness, it's improbable that individuals would endure significant pain. Most human tissues are fluid-filled and primarily incompressible. Consequently, human lungs and sinuses would be instantaneously crushed, and the immense shock would promptly render them unconscious due to the severe trauma and oxygen deprivation. People might not even be aware of the ordeal as it unfolds. In essence, the deaths would be instantaneous and painless. In terms of the visual components, the implosion would give rise to a formidable shockwave within the water, leading to an abrupt cloud of debris encompassing the obliterated submersible and, regrettably, the remnants of its occupants. Following this, the water would promptly surge back into the void, intensifying the chaotic spectacle. Now we grapple with the ultimate question. What transpired with the bodies of the passengers? Where did their remains go, if anything survived at all? Primarily, the bodies would be subjected to intense heat. The air bubble initially formed by the submarine would ultimately collapse, succumbing to the external pressure. Consequently, the air trapped within would undergo compression, causing its temperature to surge to a searing 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, equivalent to the temperature of the sun. If any remnants of the bodies managed to endure, they would undergo a transformation into a gel-like substance and be expelled at exceedingly high speeds. This compressed process would propel these remains outward, soon to become nourishment for the underwater creatures inhabiting the depths. Thank you for your viewership. If you found this video engaging, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more captivating content.